Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to go over my Master Blend flowering recipe with you guys, what I use for flour. And we got the Master Blend 01224. We have the Epsom salt we use, and we also use the Yara calcium nitrate. I have a 15 or a 50 pound bag of the calcium nitrate, but we do use the Yara. We do use the Master Blend 01224. I do know Jax came out with a 01224. I think it's pretty much the same thing. We might try it later. The Master Blend's got some caking. I've had people that don't have problems. Mine cakes a little bit. Like it, it does get hard and I have to break it up, but it's not bad. It's still pretty good. But I wanna go over my flying recipe with you guys. All right guys, I wanna go over what's on the board here, how I run my uh, Master Blend 01224 during flour. We use the Master Blend at four grams per gallon. Um, we use the calcium nitrate at three grams per gallon. You can go to 3.5 grams per gallon if you want a little bit more nitrogen during the stretch. Also, we have the Epsom salt at 0.5 to 1 gram. I think 0.7 is per perfect. It gives you a little over um, 60 ppms of magnesium with the Master Blend. Um, late in flour, you could uh, lower the calcium nitrate a little here to 2.5 grams. Um, the Master Blend. Right after the stretch, if you wanted to, you could also go to 4.5 grams just to give a little PK boost, but laying flour, this would work great. 2.5 grams per gallon of the calcium nitrate, 4 grams of the master blend, we'll just say 0 0.7, 0 0.5 to 1 grams, anywhere in between that, you'll be fine with the Epsom salt. If you want to run it in veg, here's the veg recipe. Um, we're going to go over everything uh, real quick on the... Um, Nutrient calculator. We're gonna load up Hydro Buddy and just go over everything. And talk on it there. I just wanted to go over this with y'all real quick. We'll talk on uh, Hydro Buddy about everything. See you guys there. Hey guys, what's going on? I want to go over my uh, Master Blend 01224 with you guys. So this is what I use for flour. Um, for early flour, from weeks one through three, this is what I like to run. I like to run the Master Blend at zero, the 01224 at four grams per gallon. The R calcium nitrate at 3.5 grams per gallon and the magnesium sulfate, which is your Epsom salt, at 1 grams per gallon. And we'll go over the numbers down here. See, these, both these numbers are going to be your nitrogen. So this is uh, about 147 right here. And then you got your phosphorus and potassium down here. Not looking too bad. Your magnesium's at 68 and your calcium, look at that calcium at 175. This is why I like uh, the Master Blend. The calcium is just, it is amazing compared to a lot of other stuff. Plus the Master Blend, I feel like I have full control, full control with all the uh, nitrogen, the phosphorus, potassium, the magnesium, and calcium. I'm gonna kind of go over with the deficiencies before we start talking about anymore how I go in flour. Um, your calcium nitrate here is literally calcium and nitrogen. So if you're having a calcium deficiency, you can just up it with your calcium nitrate here. Then you have to watch it because then you might get too much nitrogen so you'd want to back off. You just have to remember these two are together. So if you're having a nitrogen deficiency, you can also up this or lower it depending on what your plants are telling you. You just have to remember this is your calcium and your nitrogen. You can adjust if you're having any problems with your plants. Um, your master blend is literally your phosphorus and potassium plus your trace elements. And if you're having a phosphorus or potassium issue, just raise it or lower it depending on what your plants are telling you. Um, the same with the Epsom salt, that's your magnesium, so magnesium deficiency, it's right here to fix it. So any plant problem you're going to have, you can pretty much fix it just with adjusting, adjusting a little bit of these. Most of the time, most people have a calcium or magnesium problem. Um, I know cocoa is really demanding on the calcium and magnesium, but that's how you can adjust it with the Master Blend. That's why I like it because, you, have, like I said, you have full control over all, over all your nutrients here pretty much. So this is one through three week, like I said, through the stretch here. Um, we got 147 nitrogen. After after week three, we'd probably want to bump up your uh, phosphorus and potassium here to get a little PK boost. I would go with a 4.5, five-ish, and uh, that will change the PK here a little bit. And then you want to drop that nitrogen also, maybe down to a 3.0 or a 2.5. Um, this will drop it down to a 125 in your nitrogen here, plus your PK. Um, your calcium is also setting at 150, which is amazing. See, I like to run this actually at a 0.7, like I was saying on the board. To me, 0.7 the whole way through on the Epsom salt is, a, is where I usually run it. But 1, one is great, too. Um, but we'll just leave it at 1 for the sake of the video 
here. We'll just leave it at one. But just remember, I run 0.7 pretty much nonstop the whole way through. But we'll leave it at one. All right, 4.53. This is going to be right after stretch. That's how I'd run it right after stretch. I'd run this from week four. But after, just as soon as stretch is over, run it for a week or so, a week or two, then bump it back down. About take out that PK back away. We'll take some of this away going late into flower. And we'll also start wanting to drop that nitrogen late in flower. 2.5. I like 2.5 because my calcium still stays at 125. I like my calcium at 125. But I know a lot of people when they start getting later in flower, I would pretty much stay with the master blend at 4 grams per gallon and the Epsom salt at 0.7 to 1 grams, whatever you're running in there. The only thing I'm going to change later in flat, late in flower here is dropping that nitrogen down. So if you wanted to keep dropping your nitrogen, say maybe a 2, you could start dropping it. You could even drop it more. You just want to see the uh, fade. If you guys want to see your plant start um, changing colors and uh, cannibalizing themselves, you could actually start dropping that nitrogen. Me, I stayed about a 2.5 and... and Maybe I'll drop it a little towards the very end there to get a little lower, but that's what I would run all the way through flower. Um, if you guys just want uh, something you could actually run from day one in flower to the, all the way to the finish of flower, I would run 431 from from the start of flower to the end of flower. For, so for, as soon as you switch 12 to 12 or whatever light schedule you're running for your flower, I would run this all the way until harvest, 431, and that's simple enough without having to make any adjustments. If you just wanted to do that, you'd be perfectly fine. The calcium is at 150, your magnesium is at 68, every like 125 in your nitrogen. I mean, you could you could run this all the way through flower. Would it be the perfect thing? No, but it would get the it would get it done more than likely. Like I said, if you had any any problems with anything you can adjust it up here with anything like if you start seeing problems or if you want to drop your nitrogen like we said you could start dropping that calcium nitrate at the end just should have plenty of calcium in here any pretty much anyway especially at 2.5 like we were talking about but that's pretty much what i wanted to go over i also want to go over with you guys before we get off here i want to go over the uh, veg recipe like i've never ran veg with this but i would want to show you how i would run it and uh, we will start with a 3.6 in the calcium nitrate. I know on the board I had I had 3.7, I think, but we'll do 3.6. We'll also drop that master blend to three. So we don't need all that phosphorus. Then let's go down. Magnesium. See your magnesium here. You can all the way in flower to the whole time. Anywhere between 0.5 and one gram is going to be perfect so you could run anywhere from 0 0.5 to 1 gram um, me I do 0 0.7 but we're just going to leave it at 1 we'll just leave this at 1 it still, still should show about um, 60 no that's 57 here because we dropped the master blend master blend's got a little bit of magnesium in it but yeah, you could run this the whole like this you could do this in veg and get away with it the calcium is super high in the uh, veg here that's the only problem I really see is the calcium being super high but like we said, if you're having nitrogen deficiencies or any type of calcium deficiencies, um, you could start dropping this number in veg if you have problems. You could do, let's watch that calcium, and uh, here's the calcium at 180, and the nit uh, we got the nitrogen that's going to drop a little too with it. We'll go to 3.4, or let's just go to 3.2 from there, or 3.3, that's what we clicked on there. So we'll drop it a little bit, and your calcium will drop from 180 to 165. I mean, you can drop it. I've ran... I've ran my nitrogen at 105 in veg before, and it ran fine. But not with this recipe, but with other some other nutrients, I've been at 105 on the uh, nitrogen. It ran fine, so I don't see why this wouldn't be a be a problem. That that 3.6 right here should be perfect. Like I said, if you start having problems, just start dropping that uh, calcium nitrate a little bit. Um, if you have any deficiencies, you can fix them like we talked about here, but I would run this in veg. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a bucket to the side and actually just do one plant in deep water culture and run this just to see how it would run. But I don't see why there would be any problem at all. Like I said, the calcium nitrate, you can start dropping it to get some of that calcium. Uh, a lot of people like to be about 150 in nitrogen. I mean, I think that's great and everything, but it's not, it's not a must. You could drop the nitrogen a little bit more. Um, if you needed to, you know, that's like if you just had this master blend and you had to 
you wanted to veg in it and flour in it, this is how it would veg in it. And then when we switch to flour, like I said, if you just wanted to something easy, you could do the 431 all the way through flour and then run this and veg. I'm going to show y'all a little sheet here in a second that uh, I have to kind of make this a little easier. Here, I'll pull it up real quick. And this is my early flour, like I said, we had run. I'm just kind of wanting to show this. We're not going to show any nitrogen change or anything, but this is how it would run everything. We got the week one through three here. This would be perfectly fine, even if you want to do 3 grams instead of 3.5. I do 3.5 because I like the little extra nitrogen in the early stretch. After stretch, you know, like this, 4 grams to 4.5 for that PK boost, like we were talking about. Yeah, you are calcium nitrate at 3 grams per gallon. Sometimes you can lower it to 2.5. Um, Absin salt, 0.5 to 1 grams. That's pretty much going to stay the same for me. I run 0.7, so anywhere in between there, you guys will be fine. Until the end of flour, your master blend, 4 grams per gallon. Um, your RM calcium, you see 2 grams per gallon late in flour. 0.5 to 1, like I said, you can start dropping that down, whatever you want to, to get that nitrogen out of there. Well, see guys, I will see you guys change. on the next one. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same.